The crypto market went through peaks and troughs recently, and SHIB is no exception. However, recent data suggests that this meme coin might be gearing up for a comeback. Let's dig into the numbers and the narrative. Um, and first off, the volume. Um, and as the price of SHIB has been descending, so as the trading volume, um, and it shows one thing clearly, the trend is fading. The descending volume is coupled with a declining price, often signals that the downward momentum is losing steam. It is as if the market is running out of reasons uh, to push the assets and lower. Uh, uh, but there's more to this story. Uh, Shiba Inu recently had a successful relaunch of its Shibarian Layer 2 solution, and it is like a tech company rolling out a much-anticipated software update. Uh, it rejuvenates the ecosystem uh, and injects a dose of optimism. Uh, the Shibarian relaunch has added a layer of credibility and uh, utility to SHIB, making it more than just a meme coin. Um, you know, there's a, you know, uh, the market seems to be running out of excuses to devalue SHIB. Uh, the declining volume and price, uh, coupled with successful tech updates, uh, create a backdrop where a reversal seems more than just wishful thinking. XRP does not seem to give up. The asset has been trying to find its footing, especially after a recent attempt to rebound. However, today's market paints a different picture, one that is a bit more complex and intriguing. Uh, let's talk about selling pressure first. Uh, the weekend, uh, usually uh, time for smaller uh, retail investors to make their moves. Uh, did not show this kind of pressure. It is as if the big fish, uh, the institutional investors, are still betting on XRP uh, to slide further down the slope. Um, but here's where it gets interesting. Um, and, and weekends are often less influenced by large investors and more by retail traders. Um, the, the, the absence of increased selling pressure over the weekend could be a subtle hit. What's the main takeaway? Um, XRP is in a fascinating spot. Uh, on the one hand, increased selling pressure today uh, could be a sign of things to come. Uh, but on the skinny outer hand, calm leak in trading suggests that the asset might still have a fighting chance to conquer the 200 EMA price level. It is like a, a chess game where both players are down to their last steel pieces. Every move counts, and it is far from clear who will come out on top. The volume of Sol has hit a new low, and it's not just a blip on the radar. It's a sign of something deeper. But before you jump to conclusions, let's dissect the situation. But first is the descending volume. It is like the fading echo of a song signaling that the crowd might be losing interest. But here's the twist, the infamous death of the cross. Uh, often a harbinger of doom, does not seem to be making much of an impact. It is as if the market is saying, nice try, but you're not scared enough this time. Now, let's talk liquidity, or rather, uh, the, the lack thereof. Uh, Solana is not struggling because of some inherent flaw. It is more like a talented actor on a poorly lit stage. The market is not providing enough liquidity for SOL to truly shine. It is not the question of is Solana good or bad. It rather is the market of giving Solana a fair chance. Um, but wait, you know, there's there's a silver lining. Fundamentally, Solana is showing signs of growth, uh, especially when you look at the uh, total value uh, locked in its ecosystem. Um, it is like a, a tree uh, in winter, uh, seemingly lifeless, but with buds waiting to bloom. Uh, the fundamentals are solid. Uh, it is market conditions that are throwing a wrench in the works. What's the game plan? Uh, Solana is at a juncture uh, where external factors are muddying uh, the waters. Uh, the low volume and liquidity issues are like fog on the highway, uh, making it hard to see what's ahead. Uh, but remember, uh, fog lifts, and when it does, uh, the road becomes clear. Uh,